up, y'all? It's your girl, Mia, and I'm back with another video. So before we get to this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can't get notified every single time a girl posts. Pretty. What the fuck do? Let's get into this video. Right, so today's video is going to be a girl song. Yeah, today's video is going to be a... A girl talk. Sorry, y'all. So, let's just get into this. So, I basically get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight different topics we just going to be going over. Talking about a little bit. Getting a little to it. And if y'all got any questions or anything concerning these topics, then I'll do like a little part two. So, if you got any questions or anything that you want me to add in my next girl talk, comment it down below. But uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, y'all. So, the first topic we're going to be talking about is self love. So, the first thing I have to say about self love is love yourself if nobody else does. Self love is the best love. Let's not just forget that. So, nobody can't really love you how you love you. And I think I said this before, but. I'm going to say it again. Nobody loves you how you love you. Nobody can have the amount of love that you have for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So basically, with self-love, I would just say, do things that make you feel good. Take care of you. It's okay to put yourself before others. Sometimes, because... I know there's some people out there like me and many others I know that we will put ourselves last and put somebody before us and make sure somebody else is straight before ourselves because that's just the type of people we are and we got some kind of hearts and we just want to make sure everybody else is straight before ourselves. So sometimes it is okay to put yourself first. We got to understand that because sometimes we learn the hard way that not everybody love you for you and love your heart and some people take your kind heart for weakness and they take that kind love for granted and they treat you dirty because they know you got such a good heart so sometimes it's okay to put yourself first and i learned it another thing is it's okay to say no even though it may seem hard that ties into what i just said it's okay to put yourself first it's okay to say no i know sometimes we always want to do for others and feel like if we say no, it's going to hurt us to the bullets. But it's okay to say no. Like It's times where you just got to set them boundaries and be like, nope, not today. I can't do this. I got to put myself first. Y'all know the six times? I got to put myself first. I got to put myself first, dude. Just got to put me first. Literally. And like, you got to put yourself first. You got to take care of you before you can take care of somebody else. Okay? And then another thing, like I said, self-love is the best love. And then until you love yourself fully, you can't love no one else fully. Meaning, if you only loving yourself a little bit, how can you take that little bit and turn it into a lot to get it to somebody else? Not if it don't make sense. Saying like, if you don't have a whole lot of self-love for yourself, a whole bunch of love, but you trying to give another person a whole bunch of love at some point that ain't gonna work that's gonna break because it's like i'm not even giving myself that much love and i'm trying to turn and give you something that i'm supposed to be giving myself first and then you so you can't love somebody else fully if you're not loving yourself fully and i hope that i made that make sense but like you can't love yourself first put you first it's okay to put you first it's okay to say no it's okay Okay, so things you can do that could be a part of self-love. You can speak highly of yourself slash positive affirmations. So like speak positive stuff to yourself. Tell yourself you are enough. Just speak highly of yourself. Speak positive things to yourself and about yourself and about your life. Because the tongue is a powerful thing. Prayer is a powerful thing. Powerful thing. So speak highly of yourself. Because I'm telling you, what you praying for yourself and what you wishing on yourself one day will come true. It's God's timing. Just know that. 
okay um another thing is don't compare yourself to others don't at no point compare yourself to others because what's for you is for you and what's for you is what's for them is for them so don't compare yourself because that will mess you up too and like i said what's for you is for you and everything is god's timing so i know some things might feel like it's slowly coming but it's surely going to come or some things just feel like it's never going to come but i'm telling y'all god's timing is the best timing like just wait on him don't rush nothing because at that time it might not be your time so just wait on him to give you what you been praying for and it's gonna come just believe that and the another thing you can do is put yourself as a priority and set boundaries so make yourself know you are a priority and you have to do things for yourself to make you your best self and just set boundaries between whoever you and whoever whoever you need to set the boundary with it's okay to set boundaries so set them boundaries and put you as a priority so and just do things that make you feel good whatever makes you feel good do that it's getting your hair done getting your nails done going shopping retail therapy that a lot that helps a lot of people anything that makes you feel good just do that a part of your self-love like i said head nails shopping if it's cleaning if it's whatever just taking a drive listen to me whatever makes you feel good do that because sometimes you need to implement that into your day into your life period to make you the best you and to make you feel good about yourself so we're going to go on to the second topic. So the second topic is confidence. First thing I got to say about confidence is don't care what others think. Their opinion don't matter. Love for you for you. So y'all know people out here will say what they want. They're going to say what they want to say about you regardless. They're going to have their opinions. It's okay. To, yeah, everybody got their opinions. It's okay. But you can't let that tell you down. You can't let their opinion take you down because their opinion is their opinion for a reason. So you can't always care what others think about you. And even if you, okay, even like, for instance, people on YouTube, people be leaving hateful comments on other people's videos, but they don't really pay that in the mind because they got to know, like, okay, you're going to say what you say regardless, but I still got to live my life. I still got to be me. I still, I'm still going to do what I'm going to do regardless of what you're talking about. You're not going to stop me from living my life and doing what I'm doing. So, you can't care what other people think, especially their opinions, because their opinion is opinion for a reason. And you have to love you for you. Like I said, if nobody else loves you, you have to love you. For you. Love you for you. And express your way, in, express yourself in any way you like. So, if that's a different hair color or styles, just whatever makes you feel good, comfortable, and confident do it don't let others tear you down so if it's a different hair color if you want to walk around with bright yellow sky blue green hair purple hair red whatever pink whatever and you feel good in it do that because no matter if somebody talking about the hairstyle or the hair color you got or they feel this way that way that way they're gonna feel it regardless and it's not gonna stop you just make them either even matter so like I said, and just love your natural self. You don't always have to, because you think somebody feels some way about your natural self, your natural face, or your natural hair, you go to out and change yourself. No. Wear that natural hair, wear your natural face. Don't care what they think. Period. Another thing is, nothing defines you but you. So no clothes, no hair, nothing defines you but you. You can't let that define you. No materialistic thing can define you for you. No materialistic things can define your heart you define you for you so don't let that define you you define you um another thing is have a good mindset and like i said somebody is gonna hate no matter what so you can't let that defeat you don't be defeated by what they're saying because you can't let that tell you down and the thing you can do is make them eat that out. make them even matter every time 
that's just one thing you can do. Make them mad every time. Every time you get a new hairstyle, every time you get a new hair color, every time you whatever, make them even matter. Post the picture every time. Make them matter than what they already are. Because they're going to get mad regardless. They're going to hate regardless. So just make them even matter. Don't care what they say. Make them mad. And that's on purpose. <laughs> so topic number three. I hope I'm not talking too fast. And I'm looking at my phone because I wrote my stuff down in my notes so I can make sure I say what I wanted to say. And don't forget. So topic number three is insecurities. Now I know we all might have some type of insecurity. I can't really think. But I, it's probably something. But I can't think right now or what mine may be. But as far as insecurities, I say you might not like something about yourself, but that's okay. Don't let them tear you down or get you out of your mind to think more than what it is. So don't let that insecurity. Don't overthink your insecurity. So whatever you might be insecure about, don't overthink it and make it more than what it is. Because it might be something small, it might be something big, but don't make it more than what it already is. Don't overthink that insecurity. That's what I'm trying to say. And yeah, it's not always that bad. Even if you might think that to somebody else, it might not always be that bad. And it, it just might not. Just don't overthink it. It's, it's okay. I promise. And I said, God made you the way you are for a reason. So whatever you may be insecure about, God made you that way for a reason. He seen it fit for you. So he made you that way. So just think about it that way. God made me like this. So I'm bad either way. I'm cute either way. I'm pretty either way. I'm handsome either way. Whichever way. God made you that way for a reason. So we're going to move on to topic number four. Which is finding yourself. What I got to say about that is knowing knowing you, what you like, what you don't like, is kind of like, it plays a part in finding yourself. So like knowing you, what you like and what you don't like, that helps you find yourself. And I said listening to your instinct because nine times out of ten, you're right. That helps. That plays a part in finding yourself. That's the only really points I had about that. It's just knowing what you like and what you don't like and listening to your instinct. So topic number five is toxic, uh, to toxic, uh, toxic, okay? I can't get it wrong, <laughs> but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So even if it's uh, with a relationship, a friendship, with whomever, family, whoever, the toxic, some people might love men in a toxic, any type of relationship, but I say it's not really good for you, like, just pay attention to people through colors. Let go of it. It may hurt to let go, but sometimes you gotta let it go. Like, don't let it get too far. You have to set boundaries with that too. Now, y'all might like it, to, but to a certain extent, you gotta let that go. Because it ain't good for you. It ain't good for your health. Just let it go. It's okay. Just let it go. Number six is hygiene, which is very important. But hygiene... Shower every day. Make sure you're shaving and waxing, whichever you prefer. Not every day, but when you need to. Make sure you do that. Um. Yeah, I y'all should know what plays a part of hygiene. Just showering, brushing your teeth, washing your face, keeping yourself moisturized, using soap. And water and whatever other girl products you may use if you're a girl. You know, some people, I know people use honey pot, some people use summer eat, whatever you may use. Just keep up your hygiene, it's important. Number seven, Prius. If you're a girl, of course, we come with attitudes and I pre um, make sure whichever you use, pass or tampons, whichever you're comfortable with, change them regularly and dispose them properly. Now I'll just put it in the trash without wrap, without wrapping it up. Wrap it in some wrap, wrap it in the wrapper and tissue, and throw it away. Shower consistently, cause you don't want to smell. Um, cramps. I know you can use heater pads. Some may prefer to take medicine. I don't really take medicine, but it's whatever you prefer. But it stay on top of your A game when it's time come. Uh, and the last topic is number eight, which is losing your virginity. I can't 
can't tell you what to do with your body, but I'll suggest to you that you wait until you're ready. Don't give it up to anybody. Make sure somebody you're sure you want to share your body with. And don't let nobody pressure you, you into doing it. So don't get peer pressure into losing your virginity. Wait until you're ready. And do it with somebody that you know you're willing to share your body with. But yeah, y'all. That was my eight topics I had for y'all in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope some of my points helped you all. And y'all take some of them and let me know in the comments if it did help you. Let me know whatever else y'all want me to cover in my next girl talk video. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it really was some good information. And let me know any key points that I may have missed. Then help me. I hope you. Okay. But this is the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can't get notified every single time I go post. Period. And without further ado, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah, and follow my TikTok underscore her name is because you're gonna be living on it. And follow my Instagram on her, uh, mm, underscore her name, me. And follow my business Instagram, Accessorized by Men. That's A-C-C-E-S-S-O-R-I-Z-E-D-B-Y-M-I-A. And Accessorized by Men on TikTok. We got a business TikTok too. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We just had some new inventory in today. Check out the page, which is today is February 23rd. Y'all be getting this video tomorrow. Um, yeah, so... Check out a new inventory. <laughs> but I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Lord.